Hi, my name is Kyle Bryant. I'm the executive producer of an upcoming reality show called Ships Ahoy, based upon the Portland Spirit's boats, crew, employees, and passengers. I'd like to share with you today a little bit about our Kickstarter campaign. We are the producers of Ships Ahoy, the reality show. Right now, we come to you about our sizzle tape. One of the things that we found as we were watching TV is that there's some pretty negative, just some awful things on TV that are not uplifting, that are... The in, fighting, yelling, yeah. name calling, all those kinds of things. And we don't like to watch it, and we think that there are some other people like us out there that don't either. So we thought we could do a reality show. That's definitely what people are watching these days, but we wanted to do something uplifting. We wanted to do something that may have conflict, but we can show how it can be resolved in a positive way. So we started looking at different companies in Portland. Ships Ahoy is about the Portland spirit, the operation, the crew, the employees. It's about the passengers who are going to uh, get behind the scenes of all these people and their interesting, exciting lives and show you who they are. There's dramatic things that are happening on the river. We're gonna take you down the gorge into Cascade Locks. We're going to get you on all five of the boats. There's the Portland Spirit, the Willamette Star, the Crystal Dolphin, the Columbia Gorge Sternwheeler. Outrageous jet boat. That's right. We are filming on those boats. So all five boats are gonna be part of it. The backdrop of the incredible Columbia Gorge. Portland is gonna be part of it. There's a lot of stories and adventures and experiences that you'll get to experience on the show once it goes to network. We're excited to have you be partners with us, to be on the ground level, to launch this show, to keep it afloat, to bail us out to <laughs> all the things that we could say about boats and such and everything. And shows. And shows. Why Kickstarter? Why? You tell them. Okay. Um, one of our cast members actually is producing a CD. He's a singer, songwriter and captain on one of the boats, and um, he did this to produce his CD. We need to finish the sizzle tape, and that involves possibly hiring a scriptwriter. We need to get some more clips that are gonna be cool of Portland, maybe a, a helicopter shot or, or some other clips that we may have to purchase. Postage for sending out the sizzle tape once it's done. We need some equipment uh, to continue producing this sizzle tape. It just allows us to get our finished product, the uh, sizzle tape, to a level at which we can send it out to the networks. Because you're going to be a backer, we wanted to reward you with something. We want you to be a part of this project. We want to give you something for your pledge. We've got some really cool things and we've created these just for this project. The saying is, I helped Ships Ahoy stay afloat. With that saying and the logo that we've kind of created of the life ring, life ring. you will get bumper stickers, magnets, window decals, buttons, and of course this kind of increases as the pledge increases. T-shirts and our lovely life ring. We've created a clock out of a DVD. It's very cool. See, it's a working a DVD. clock. Uh, we also have trips, uh, cruises up and down the river on the Portland Spirit, lunch, dinner cruises, sightseeing cruises. Mm -hmm. You pledge more, you'll get to be on the set. You and a guest get to be our guest on the set if the show goes to network. Pledge more, you'll be able to be uh, part of the story, mm -hmm. part of the show, by giving you an on-set experience. Mm -hmm. There are other corporate packages, one of which is a 30 second to a 60 second broadcast quality commercial that you can put on the air. We, we do not provide the airtime, you have to do that, but we will produce the commercial. If you don't want a commercial, we can produce a longer video for a trade show, let's say, or put it on YouTube. If you have a business, we can do a safety video, a training video, a promotional video. We wanted to give to you if you are supporting us. And I think that's the important part of this project as well, is that the people that, that um, start with us, that back us, that support us, in the beginning of this reality show, 
we want to back them and support them as well. I think it's important that we support those that support us. Absolutely. So if you pledge $25 or more, you would be invited to the premiere of the sizzle day. That's right, with all that that entails. And you'd be able to get your rewards on that day and meet the cast members. So That'd we're excited fun. for you guys to be a part of this. You get a chance to be a part of positive, uplifting TV. Mm -hmm. Something that you may want to see happen, something that needs to happen. We want to change the landscape of television. We want to do something that will have an impact on our families and Portland. And, and you know, this show will also help out this business and it'll keep it afloat. It, we will be able to have jobs created because of it. We'll have tourism. People will come to Portland to want to watch the show as well as be on the boats. Yeah. We hope that this will be something that will be an economic impact for Portland if this gets to network. And that can be partly because of you. First we have Dennis, who is the GM. He is the one that will be mostly in front of the camera throughout our entire series. So I just got done talking to Warner Pacific College. Uh, it's a school group we do every year. Really enjoyed it. They come back, uh, it's an urban studies class, and they always include the Portland spirit and how industry and nature and commerce all work together, and I get an opportunity to come on board with them every year and talk about it, and I thought, thought it went really well. The second person in our cast would be Kelly, who is Dennis's wife. She is a cruise manager. So luckily they were very nice about it. But sometimes you can get people that they don't care. They don't care about anybody else. They just want what they want and they don't really care. So, yep, that's about it. <laughs> I thought he was mine, sorry. <laughs> I don't think he is. <laughs> oh, just had to make sure. Mindy is another cruise manager. She kind of oversees all the service part of their business, uh, does the scheduling and all that sort of stuff. All right, we have a very crazy plan here, but we're doing it. So that guy is, one of the passengers is driving your car into Portland. I'm gonna pick up the car tonight and- Passion, who's, whose car? Your car. Oh, is that right? Which car? Your car. The, the RAV. Brenda, yeah, she's taking Maria's car. Oh. So all 11 people oh, can leave right now. Next, we have Tom. Tom is a captain on the Columbia Gorge Sternwheeler in Cascade Locks. On the off season, he works up at Mount Hood. I'm also going to go over, they've got a, uh, a brew pub over here. I'm going to go over here and they make their own root beer. I'm going to go have a root beer float. <laughs> it's all about the, been up, this is the third year up here, so I'll go. I love the root beer floats. Next, we would have Jarrell. Jarrell is a cruise manager. Outside of the boat, he has an interesting life. He is a pastor of a church. That's the fun part about this job, is that it just never ends. There's always somebody with a story. We had a lady who had her son kidnapped when he was two years old. And they had reconnected, I guess, two years ago, but only for like a, a week. And he's in his 40s now. And so they were on the boat together for the first time since she'd seen him two years ago. What, always a great story. The next one I would say would be Lyman. Lyman is a captain. He's also outside of the boat. He is a songwriter. During the departure, I'm looking up at the seawall. I'm watching the passenger, look, watching for later arrival passengers. At the same time, I'm watching what's going on on the dock. I've got two crew members, a, a senior deck officer and a uh, service staff who's also a deckhand then they are both watching the lines, I'm watching them. Next we have, let's say, Holly. Mm -hmm. Holly is a server, but she also has another job outside of the, the boat. She also, actually she has two jobs, and one of them is where she dresses up in characters, like princesses and things like that, and, and goes to birthday parties as, as this character. So this morning we're going to be doing the Cinnamon Bear Cruises. We have little kids coming aboard, and we're all dressed as fairy tale characters, as you can see. I'm Queen Melissa, Queen of Maybe Land. Next we have Selena. Selena is a server. She also, outside of the boat, has an interesting life, which you will get to see in nursing school, is uh, working at a uh, care facility, has a child, and she always wears a flower in her hair. Our captain said, get her off the boat, and we were in Lake Oswego, and there was a dock near there, and so um, 
we were dropping fenders and we were getting ready, the cops were called, we were getting ready to let her off the boat. And then they pleaded with us. When you mention cops, I think people start to, um, start to behave. And so she said she'd behave, but she didn't. Who do we have next? Bozen. Bozen. Bozen is the expert uh, on the boat. He knows everything about the boat. He knows everything about every other boat. He knows everything about boats in general. He's the boat guy. Which is what a bosun is. Exactly. It's a nickname. It's his nickname, but everybody right. calls him Bozen. If you want to board a, a Viking Drakkar ship, uh, you would ask, you know, where's the bosun? And someone would raise his hand. So it goes back a long time. So those are our cast members. We're very excited about diversity that we have, the individuals we have. They're very interesting, exciting. Um, we hope that you'll fall in love with them and want to watch them every week. If you're unable to financially support us, we understand, we know that times are tough. But what we would ask of you is if you could share this video with others, if you could link this video to your web page, a blog page, Facebook page. One of the things about Facebook that's really great for us is that we want to get as many Facebook fans as we can so that we can go to the networks and we can say, you know, we have a fan base of X amount of people. They are interested in the show. They're excited about the cast members. They really want to see this show. So if we can take that fan base and show a network, we have a better chance of them picking us up. So please like our Facebook page. Please tell your friends to like our Facebook page. Um, if that's the only thing that you can do for us, we really would appreciate yeah, that. That's helpful. The, it's very helpful. The other ways that um, you can get a hold of us are uh, we have a Twitter account, YouTube account, uh, the Facebook page, a website. Through email, we have fans at Ships Ahoy Show. So please, you know, help us promote this as best as, as you can. It would really, really be great. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and hopefully pledging for our Kickstarter campaign. We're hoping to be able to get the sizzle tape done, to be able to send it to the networks, and hopefully by this time next year, we'll be on the air with Ships Ahoy. Thanks again for being a part of our Ships Ahoy family. We're looking forward to the kickoff party, the premiere of our sizzle tape, and to have you as part of our family. Thank you for watching.